It was Salute to Heroes Day and Senior Day last Saturday at Waldo Stadium as the Western Michigan football team took on the Bowling Green Falcons. Levante Bellamy led the Bronco offensive attack with 178 yards rushing and four more rushing touchdowns. Devon Tucker, Sean Tyler, and Sky Moore also found the end zone as the Bronco offense rolled up 574 yards of total offense. Led by Treshawn Hayward's 13 tackles and two sacks, the Western Michigan defense held Bowling Green to just 266 yards. Final score, Western Michigan 49, Bowling Green 10. I'm Robin Hook. Coming up, head coach Tim Lester joins me for all the highlights on week nine of Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is presented by Greenleaf Trust. Financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. And by Shupan. They know metal and plastic inside and out, creating a better environment through recycling. At Arbor, we're a cooperative financial institution who has been proudly growing across the mitten. Our purpose is to help members achieve their dreams through innovative financial solutions. I am Arbor. I am Arbor. I am Arbor Financial Credit Union. And I am here to serve you. And I am here to serve you. This new Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese. I don't believe there is any Thin Crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Get a Little Caesars Large Extra Most Bestest Thin Crust Pizza with extra cheese and the most pepperoni, all at the nation's best price of just $6.49. Pizza, pizza. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Subaru. We're inside the all-new seven-passenger ascent from Subaru, which has the same DNA as the entire lineup of Subarus. You get the great fuel economy with the beauty of all-wheel drive to get you through that lake effect snow, the low center of gravity from the Boxer engine, along with the best crash avoidance system on the market today called EyeSight from Subaru. Come on out to Maple Hill Subaru and drive these amazing vehicles. Maple Hill Subaru, for a journey like no other. When leading edge medical care is what you need, will you be able to find it? Right there. When you find the perfect doctor for you, will you be able to choose her? Can one company give you the expertise, the technology, the choices, the peace of mind that your coverage is gonna work the way you want it? Count on it. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us. And to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Devon's in there to the left of Wasink. He's got it. Straight ahead down near the goal line, and he's in. Touchdown, Devon Tucker. Touchdown, Western Michigan as he powered it over the goal line and into the end zone. Devon Tucker getting into the end zone for the Broncos last Saturday against Bowling Green. One of six rushing touchdowns by the Bronco offense. We're with head coach Tim Lester. And Coach, it was senior day, and the seniors all factored in. Yeah, they played great, and it was it was fun to watch. Most of them got in the game, and it was a perfect senior day as far as making sure everyone has a chance to get on the field, and um, it was it was a great day. Sure was. The Broncos in Bowling Green. Let's go to Waldo Stadium, and the weather held off till the second half, so folks got out there. You had your red, white, and blue helmet logos on, the Marine Corps was there, it was salute to heroes. It was fantastic, I mean, wearing the red, white, and blue helmets is one of the, it's probably my favorite, my most favorite game. I got a lot of different things I can choose in my office, but that helmet is the one that I have in my office, and uh, you know, so it was, it was a really neat day, seeing the families on the field, seeing uh, all the military and the heroes that were there, and uh, you know, and then obviously we, we finished it up with a pretty good game. How about that guy, one of the top tacklers in college football? Yeah, he is fast. Trey Hayward is, uh, he's getting better and better. He wasn't even 100% healthy this game and played really well and was, was proud of the way he competed. 
Sky Moore trying to get deep as to try to go over the top. This is their guy uh, who's a running and passing threat. He is, and, and uh, you know, I thought he did. He got, he got away one time on us and, and had one big run, but I thought they bottled him up all day. I thought the defense ran to the ball. Look at all the amount of white shirts that are in the, in the uh, screen is always a good sign, and uh, I was proud of the way our defense held them 260-some yards, which is tough to do nowadays. There's a common theme in these shots with uh, number 23 making all the time. <laughs> you know, when they say you, we need to run to the ball, uh, when you're really fast, you, tend, you have a tendency to get there first, and, uh, and he got there first a lot. All right, the Broncos and Bowling Green, and uh, here they uh, are able to get on the board with a field goal, which you'll take that all day. Yeah, they drove down the field, and, uh, you know, and, and as long as we're holding them, the field goals were in good shape. I thought our kick return team did a great job. We, we felt good all week long. We thought we had a chance to return one, and, and uh, we almost did. Bronco kick coverage and kick return has been at the top of the MAC standings for virtually the entire season. Yeah, Coach Palsik's done a great job, great addition to our staff. Our, our special teams have pretty much gone from the worst in the league to one of the best units, and, uh, and I give him all the credit and our guys buying into his team. All right, here you go, grinding it out on the ground. Coach, you had 399 yards rushing. <laughs> yeah, we needed one more. Uh, but yeah, I thought the, the old line did a great job. We knew our advantage was us versus our old line versus their D-line, and, and we were able to lean on them, wear them out, and uh, really, it's. Runs started popping pretty big there, uh, you know, in the second half. That last play, we saw a little Sky Moore jet sweep action. That was a new wrinkle. Yeah, he can do a lot of things. We have a lot of wrinkles in for him that we haven't quite busted out yet, so hopefully there'll be more and more as we get closer. But uh, he's a supremely talented kid. I look forward to the, his future. There's Bellamy into the end zone, his uh, first of four on the day. Yeah, he, he is he's special. I think everybody knows it. and. You know, he's just so consistent, you know, and he, this game was an interesting game because we actually gave him more space than he normally has. We got good push in the interior, and when you have a good running back and you give him a little bit of push, it's, it's, it's a long day for a defense. Scott Leffler, the new head coach there at Bowling Green, and uh, they're doing a good job. They had a big win earlier in the season against Toledo, their arch rival. They did. For them, that's like Central Western to them, and so that was a huge win. I'm proud. I mean, he's, he's a great Great man, doing a great job in recruiting. He, he knows it's going to be a couple of years to get it turned. And, uh, you know, I had a good, lot of good conversation with him before and after the game. Here's John Wasik. He didn't throw a whole lot in this game, but uh, just enough to keep him guessing. Yeah, he was efficient. You know, we uh, a couple big third downs. Here's, here's one right there. That was a huge third down conversion. Two-minute drill, we needed him. Uh, you know, depending on the game plan, we have a quarterback that can throw it 50 times. He can throw it 25 to 30 times and be efficient. You know, you got to make sure Bellamy's getting his touches too. So uh, our variety of offensive ways to, to beat you is, is really the key. And you're out there with a lot of young players that are wide out. Yeah, they're getting better. You know, here's one that we uh, kicked into the end zone. It's frustrating. Uh, landed right on the one-yard line. You know, we got to get that at about the five so we can get behind it. We worked on that a lot this week. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a fun to watch these young guys. I mean, Trey's only a junior. He's got more time. And so, uh, you know, we, got, we have uh, some young players that are, that are going to be fun to watch in the next couple of years. Grant Loy, their quarterback, and their uh, wide receiver, actually is kind of a hybrid tight end guy, Quentin Morris. Yeah, they moved him from wide out to tight end, and their offense, uh, you know, they, they use him a lot and move him around. And uh, obviously they need to rebuild their O-line and D-line because they're, they're not quite big enough. And, um, you know, and that's where they'll, they'll do that in recruiting. But your defense is getting the job done and stopping these guys uh, for most of the day. They got in the end zone just one time. Yeah, and, and they just and that was off one big play. They gapped us out on a, a great call against double edge pressure, and uh, you know that's where you know we take we ran the ball and took shots. You can see we, we didn't hit any of our big ones over the top, uh, but that was the plan going in: run the ball, let John decide on RPOs, and that we knew this would happen if we ran the ball enough. There he goes into the end zone, uh, the second of four rushing touchdowns by Levante Bellamy, and there's not too many defenders in the in the shot there. No, we actually we, we had we had that set up. We had not run out of that formation all year, so we knew when we got in it they were going to think pass, and and they they were really light with numbers in the box, and and uh, man, you give Bell space, and it's uh, you know good things happen for the Broncos. Here's your defense going to work and keeping them to short gains and those little out uh, routes that they were trying to run and well defended yeah. there by Anton Curtis. Yeah, I mean, we talked about this is what we didn't do very well two weeks ago and, and we did a great job. They tried to throw it underneath just like uh, just like Eastern did and we came up and made tackles and this was a big drive in the game right here. This two-minute drive, third down, John goes ahead and runs, it gets the first down. 
Uh, you know, we moved move the ball down the field with under a minute. Here's a great throw to uh, Geo to get us inside the 30. And then we had enough time, and I had timeouts that we could actually run it in a two-minute drill. There's a linebacker dropping into coverage on a run play, uh, which got us down to the two, and, and we punch it in. All right, here you go. A uh, little inside handoff to Devon Tucker, and he finds the end zone. He had to earn it. Yeah, he's big, big, tough kid. Lowered the shoulder, fell forward. That was a huge touchdown in the game. I mean, that's really where I thought our momentum got going. They looked at it, and it was a touchdown. Yeah, it was. We we had a couple of plays dialed in just in case, but it was it was just a perfect way to end end it with a stop and then a quick score, and then we get the ball first in the second half, and and life is good. So the Broncos on top of the half. We'll come back and look at the second half highlights. It takes just two plays to get in the end zone. That's next on Bronco Review. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. BlackBerry has completed several home improvement projects in our neighborhood, so when we were ready for 20 new replacement windows, we called BlackBerry. They completed the project on time and their workmanship was outstanding. Our friends are amazed and we love the transformation of our home both inside and out with our new windows from BlackBerry Home Improvement Specialists. Call today or go to BlackBerrySystems.com. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. That's you are for your next car. All athletes strive to perform at their peak. And meeting that goal means putting in extra hours on the trail, in the gym, or on the court. It also means refueling after a tough workout. Chocolate milk has carbohydrates and protein to rebuild muscles, plus electrolytes to replenish your body. And with no additives, chocolate milk is nature's sports drink. So after your next training session, reach for the natural choice to help you meet your performance goals. Chocolate milk, the unofficial recovery beverage of athletes everywhere. The numbers don't lie. At Arbor Financial Credit Union, our numbers work for you. Numbers like zero, the amount you'll pay in checking fees and at Arbor or co-op ATMs. Then there's $200, the average savings on mortgage closing costs when our members use their credit union. You should probably know about five, the percentage lower your credit card rate could be compared to a bank. Take advantage of all our numbers. Not a member? Start saving today. Arbor Financial, bank here, grow here. Dear Dr. Johnson, I'm writing this letter to thank you for believing in a shy, quiet high school graduate and showing me the importance of believing in myself. You inspired me to pursue an internship in Seattle, a huge step that I never would have considered when I first arrived. Through countless meetings over four years, my world has grown bigger and ambitions bolder. From teaching kids to changing the face of education. Unforgettable bonds, unbreakable spirit, Western Michigan University. They fake the Bellamy, quick out to Sky Moore. He's got the first down, broken tackle. He's going to go to the house. Into the end zone, touchdown up the right sideline as Sky spun out of the tackle and takes it to the house. Sky Moore with a little spin move on the boundary and he takes it to the house. He's done that several times this year and just inches away from breaking loose this time he got loose. Yeah, and we, we felt against this team, we'd seen it against other teams that, that their corners in space struggled tackling and uh, you know we felt good about catching the ball in front of him and, and he did a great job getting in the end zone. So we go back to Waldo Stadium for the second half and uh, Broncos go to work early. You get the football, hand it to that guy, 75 <laughs> later. Touchdown. Yeah, I mean, unbelievable read. They, they fit, they made an adjustment at halftime, fit that zone differently. You can see how he wanted to cut it back, he got out the front door, and uh, once he gets in space, I mean, no one's going to play. Yeah, and uh, so that's a scoring drive that lasted, uh, well, not very much. <laughs> 19 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, and then, you know, and then the, the, the part that I really liked, you know, looking back at it, is I thought we did a good job uh, of, of scoring quick, and then they went down and scored. And that put more pressure on us that we had to score again, which I wanted our offense to be in that situation. And uh, obviously it came off a, a great return by this guy. I mean, he is so close to breaking one. He's still getting his ball around midfield half the time. And, uh, and we were able to score again. Your special teams, we said earlier, 
have been outstanding and the field position that they're giving you has been awesome. Yeah, it's, it's totally different as far as how aggressive you can be in your midfield and, and, and on fourth downs and, you know, it opens up four down territory when you cross the 50. So the more we get in those uh, areas, the more aggressive we can be on offense. It's one of the reasons that our numbers offensively are where they're at. Sky Moore, he's one of your best athletes on the entire team. He could play any position. He can throw it. He was an all-state quarterback, uh, great athlete, another great tackle there. Um, and so we, we can use him in a lot of ways. That was textbook right there as far as how to tackle. Yeah, ran his feet and uh, did a great job. There's Coach Palsik, our special teams coordinator, and uh, did, a, did a great job. Here's Tuck. Should never switch the ball in the middle of a run like that, so we got him right when he got to the sideline there. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, you know, we had a clicking on offense at this point, and, and it, was, it was fun to watch those guys uh, lean on him a little bit. Gio with a little cut back there. You've been watching Bells. He did. We, we ran that same play earlier, and he only gained two yards, so I had to give him a little bit of grief on the sidelines. So uh, it was great to see him answer on the next time we ran it. And there goes Sean Tyler into the end zone. Uh, he's he's going to be fun to watch. You got him for three more years, Coach. Yeah, true freshman, you know, really comfortable. It's great that he's learning from Bellamy. I mean, he's very similar to Bellamy. To, for him to watch Bellamy have a senior year like he's having is going to help him because uh, he'll be the guy here in the future. All right, here's your kick coverage team. And, uh, uh, you know, you don't kick it into the end zone a lot. You guys like to run down there and hit people. They do, and, and we actually, we, we can sky it pretty well, so we try to kind of land it in the corner around, you know, inside the five, and we're actually getting it sometimes, you know, on average, we're, we're less than the, the 25, so it's, it's been good for us. Grace with the pick, go get that turnover belt on the sideline. He is, I and mean, the funny thing is, he's such a great runner, was a great high school running back. I, if he would have stayed on his feet, I would have liked to see him. I mean, hit him in the chest, and he secured the catch, but I was kind of hoping he would take it and go to the house with it. All right, so the Broncos back on offense with a short field. And uh, you go over the middle. There's Deshaun Bustle, one of your young wideouts. He is. A redshirt freshman, and, and he's getting better. He does a great job blocking. Uh, you can see him right there in the pitcher on this run play. The, the receiver's done such a good job of locking down field for Bells. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge part of having an efficient offense. 18 yard. House call by Levante Bellamy there in the third quarter, and uh, that was actually the uh, final score of the game. Yeah, well, there was a minute and 30 left in the third quarter, and, and we had 49. So at this point, it was uh, it was great. We played nine games straight. Uh, we could we could get some of our guys out of there a little bit, get them some rest, much needed rest, and get seniors on the on the field that maybe don't normally play. So it was a perfect fourth quarter for a lot of reasons. All of the seniors really factored in. That last tackle we saw was one of your senior linebackers, Drake Spears. Yeah, and he's had a great year. And he had, I think he had double-digit tackles again. Our linebackers are playing at a real high level. Coach Andrews has done a great job, our new linebacker coach. And, uh, you know, it's fun to watch some of the young guys get out there and some of the seniors that don't get to play a ton get out there. So it was, it was a great fourth quarter. A lot of people that don't get to play a lot got in there and got reps. All right, uh, this is Griffin Allstadt running the team. Yeah, Griff uh, did a good job. He had that was a misread. He was not supposed to pull that ball, but uh, he's still learning, you know. But he does some good things with the ball in his hands. There's unfortunately this is the play of the game. I had a senior snapper, a senior holder, and a senior kicker that had never played, and we gave him a shot and it didn't work out. But they got to get out there. I was so hoping they'd bury that field goal. It would have been a great ending. Well, they were out there anyway. Yeah, the Broncos go on to win it, 49 to 10, setting up a. Big midweek Maction showdown with Ball State. We'll look ahead next on Bronco Review. Trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. Dunchy Body and Frame also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high-quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame in Kalamazoo at 375-2100, in Vicksburg at 649-8100, or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Volkswagen. This is the Volkswagen Tiguan. It comes in both five and seven passenger models, and now it's joined by its big brother, the Atlas, which comes in a seven passenger and eight passenger model, completing the SUV lineup. All Volkswagens are backed by a six year, 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. Best in the business. These are German engineered, value priced, with the longest warranty in the industry. Maple Hill Volkswagen for a journey like no other. At Arbor, we're a cooperative financial institution who has been proudly growing across the mitten. 
Our purpose is to help members achieve their dreams through innovative financial solutions. I am Arbor. I am Arbor. I am Arbor Financial Credit Union. And I am here to serve you. And I am here to serve you. This new Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese, I don't believe there is any thin crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Get a Little Caesars Large Extra Most Bestest Thin Crust Pizza with extra cheese and the most pepperoni, all at the nation's best price of just $6.49. Pizza, pizza. More devices, more apps, more streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected. So we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speeds 17 times in 17 years. So you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Got it again, breaks to the outside, he's gone! They won't catch him, touchdown Western Michigan! Levante Bellamy to the house, his second touchdown of the game! To the middle, and look out, it's a foot race, forget about it! 40, 30, he's gone, to the house, Levante Bellamy all the way for the touchdown! It's official, Levante Bellamy is good, he's really good. <laughs> and uh, coach, he leads the nation in touchdowns with 17, and he's third in the country in rushing yards. Yeah, he's uh, top top five top guy in the country in a lot of a lot of categories. He's done a great job. Uh, we haven't a couple games we gave him a lot of carries, but we have, we try not to overuse him. Um, but man, he is he is re, he understands what we're trying to do. He's he's doing a great job in pass pro. Um, he's a complete player, and he's a leader on our team. So uh, it's so much fun when that guy gets what he deserves, and, and he's getting it. He's not just a breakaway guy. He can certainly do that, and if he gets into the secondary, it's over. Forget about it. He's going to the paint. But he showed some toughness running inside the season. Yeah, a couple games. He really needed to, you know, Eastern Michigan, Syracuse, he needed to pound the rock, and they played zone and kept it in front of him. And, and he broke a bunch of tackles. And uh, some of the some, hearing what some of the other coaches have said about him, I mean, just unbelievable praise for what type of player he is. And uh, excited to be continuing to have him for a couple more games. Yeah, and he was a track guy in high school, a record-setting track guy in the state of Indiana. And he likes to take the tape at the goal line when he goes in for scores. <laughs> he does. I enjoy that part of it, you know. And uh, he's just he's so humble and he's quiet and. Uh, when he opens his mouth, everyone listens, but he's, he doesn't run his mouth. He's just a, just a worker, and it's great to see him get all the attention he's getting. And uh, he'll be the first to congratulate the offensive line. They were blowing open some massive holes. They were. Uh, they did a great job of pushing their D-line around, and, and that gave him the space he needed to have a great day. Need a big day on the ground this week as the Broncos take on the Ball State Cardinals. Tuesday night in action on national television. We'll look ahead to that next on Bronco Review. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan. With one of the highest checking account rates in the nation and guaranteed low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. When you need home improvements, you should call BlackBerry. Do you need a new roof? Give us a call. We're one of the area's most trusted and professional roofing contractors, having completed thousands of roofing jobs throughout West Michigan. Right now, you can save 50% off the installation of our new roofing, featuring the Owens Corning Duration Shingle that comes with a limited lifetime warranty for installation and materials. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. No matter what pops up during your day, Ascension Borgias makes it easy to get the care you need. Anytime, from anywhere. Now you can see a doctor online, right from home, 24-7. Check in online for urgent and ER care. Or even schedule a visit with a primary care doctor. 
You'll find it all at GetAscensionMichiganCare.com with locations across West Michigan. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu Blue and Silver. I'm a fan of the Purple and Gold. Weston's Brown and Gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Watch now! Galesburg Ford! Let you are for your next car! The numbers don't lie. At Arbor Financial Credit Union, our numbers work for you. Numbers like zero, the amount you'll pay in checking fees and at Arbor or co-op ATMs. Then there's $200, the average savings on mortgage closing costs when our members use their credit union. You should probably know about five, the percentage lower your credit card rate could be compared to a bank. Take advantage of all our numbers. Not a member? Start saving today. Arbor Financial. Bank here. Grow here. Ricci's in a slot this time. They give it to Tyler up the middle. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Sean Tyler with a touchdown run. Big showdown coming up Tuesday night at Waldo Stadium. The Broncos take on the Ball State Cardinals. Two former MAC quarterbacks coaching against each other on national television. Yeah, uh, Coach New is a good friend, and uh, we played it. We just missed each other playing in this league at this, uh, around the same time, and uh, we've hit it off, and we've bumped into each other a lot uh, in the coaching world. And um, so he's done a great job. They got an explosive offense. Uh, they're one and two in the league, and everything with us, you know. So it's uh, it should be a great showdown. Ex-quarterbacks as head coaches, you would think the offense for both teams would be good, and these two offenses are at the top of the MAC. Yeah, we, you know, but we both run the ball. It's not all, <laughs> it's not all throwing it, you know. But uh, you know, they have good balance. They can score points. They're uh, they're number one in the MAC West. We're number two in the MAC West, and uh, you know, we get to play. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, this is a big one. They are three and one in league play. You're three and two. Still three weeks to go for the Broncos. Uh, some of the other teams still have four games on. Yeah, it's up in the air. Anything can happen. we got to take care of our business, and uh, this is the biggest one because it's the one in front of us, and uh, it, should be a, it should be a great battle. Two, two very similar teams, and uh, got to, in Waldo Stadium, can't ask for anything better. Well, good luck against Ball State. Appreciate it. Tuesday night, 8 o'clock kickoff. Don't forget about the indoor tailgate. Go to WMUBroncos.com and order your indoor tailgate tickets for the big showdown between the Broncos and the Ball State Cardinals. We'll have the highlights for you coming up next week on Bronco View. Coach Lester and our staff, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next week.